Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at the Victorian Detective Face Mask. So let's get this party started. The name is a bit uh, misleading, it's not a face mask, it's actually a headpiece. And as you can see there's a lot of clipping with the hairstyle, so I'll remove the hairstyle so that we can see the headpiece properly. There we go. So as you saw, sadly, with some hairstyle, there is a lot of clipping with the, the mask. And ironically enough, it is not a mask. It is actually a headpiece. And you can see you can assign three colors to the, the, the mask. Uh, you can see the blue, the red, and the... Actually, I've used red uh, for like the, the color you see on the side of the beak and the nostril, but it actually comes, up, comes out as almost orange. And the yellow for the eyes, obviously. Like again, just to be safe, you can see, even though it's a, it's a headpiece, it is called a face mask. And sadly, you cannot wear a face mask with it. If you try to equip a face mask, it just doesn't work. And there's a similar issue with the shoulders. Like the style is called the Victorian Detective Cowl, but a lot of people seem to think that it's, it's actually a cowl. So they were looking uh, through their headpieces to, to try to find the piece. And no, it is a shoulder piece, even though it is called uh, a call. It's a bit uh, confusing, but uh, I will get through it. We will take a look at how to create this style in just a minute. But I can already hear you ask, where or where can we get this headpiece? Let's take a look. It comes from the Halloween vendor. There is such a vendor in the East M Gotham Police Station. There's also, if you play an evil villain, there's the same vendor in the North Burnley Gotham safe house. And when you go to the vendor, you can't really miss it. It's like the third item on the list. And as you can see, it costs 50 spooky bits. How can you get spooky bits? You have to play the Halloween uh, missions. It's that simple. Also, if you're not sure where the vendor is or, or where the, the police station is, Quite simple, just go to your uh, to your map, go to Warp Menu. You can see the Witching Hour Phantom Stranger. If you use it, it will teleport to you right here. So you can't really miss it. So this style is inspired by Batman Nevermore. So you need the, the face mask, you need the, the shoulders, obviously, which you can also get from the Halloween vendor. Uh, the chest piece here I'm using, uh, the, retro chest, the retro tech chest piece, but there's any number of chest pieces you could use, but I'm using this one because uh, it creates a bit of clipping, I'll show you a few examples in just a second. The gloves are the Dr. Fate gloves, the belt is the Plague Doctor belt, there's uh, any number of belts you could use, but the Plague Doctor is too perfect not to use it. Again, it also comes from the Halloween vendor, so if you want to have that belt, hurry up before the Halloween seasonal is over. For the pants, I went with the cargo pants. Uh, yeah, it shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have pockets on the sides, but it, it was a, one of the pair of pants that looked like a, a loose pair of pants. Uh, for the boots, I went with the Drowned uh, Pirate boots. There's probably some boots that are a bit closer to what our friend uh, Batman Nevermore uses, but I thought it was really appropriate. And again, I'm using uh, the Batwoman cape. You could use the Batgirl cape or even the future Batman cape. You decide. For the chest piece, there's the Starlab jacket that could probably work, but uh, you can see there's a lot of clipping uh, with the gloves, so that's that's the one reason why I didn't use it. There's Santa's little helper that would kind of work. Sadly, we kind of lose the Plague Doctor belt, so I, I really wanted to use that belt, but you could use uh, the Santa's helper chest piece if you prefer. And of course, there is a Swarming Bat Aura, which you can get for 10 spooky bits, again in the Halloween vendor. So it gives us one more option to create a Batman type uh, character. I know some of you guys may say that uh, we get too many Batman styles or something like that, but Batman is a pretty, pretty popular character. You have to expect that uh, the player base will ask for more Batman styles. And you have also to expect that the devs, if, if there's a high demand for a style like uh, the Batman, they will offer people more Batman styles, obviously. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this Universal 9 at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. That's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.